Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Grandpa. I'm Megan. I'm Daniel. I'm Mimi. I'm Matt. And we're some of the veggie boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Our truckload of flowers is here. So that truck just came and it was very cold, so we wanted to get the plants in right away. So we got this rack of plants and we got all these spikes and all this stuff down to right here. We got just this morning off of that truck. It was 56 flats and all. So get us started with this morning. I set up the store already. Um, a load of plants came and we have to feed animals. Andrew was judging me why I left that bucket right there. This is why. I walk down the steps, grab the bucket, and it's right here to fill up. I don't have to walk all over the place. So you might be wondering, like, wow, this Daniel guy, he does everything. Now, today is a little different. Um, Matthew and Andrew are at a wedding in Georgia. Dad went to the wholesaler to get produce. It's just how it worked out. I'm just here by myself, so. I normally do feed calves though in the morning, so this isn't no different to me. It's so cold out this morning that in this greenhouse, which is normally warmer than outside, all the calf water bowls are frozen this morning. To get started this morning, we need to mix the milk replacer with the hot water so we can feed the calves. So these calves, we just got them in and they're still on nipple pails. These guys drink out of regular buckets. They're about two months older than these guys. We are all done in the calf greenhouse. Now we gotta go feed the chickens and collect eggs, and we have to feed the outside cows. Don't talk about my mother like that. Now that we got the chickens all fed, we have to collect eggs yet, so we'll get that going. If anybody was wondering how many eggs we got, we got 125 eggs today. So all we have yet to do down here is we have to get silage and grain for the big cows and the outside cows. So let's go do that. Okay, so this morning I want to cut the plastic. setup that we spread the clover with this is the neighbors this is their side by side they built this entire thing with the two spreaders this does like I don't know how many feet I guess 20 feet I'm not sure I'm not a professional so I just got back from spreading clover the battery died so I didn't get to film much of it I'm um, going down back to see what my dad's doing see if he needs help with anything I heard him downstairs so we'll see what he's up to so I had got back and dad is working on dumping the truckload of sawdust Yeah. Is it empty? Yeah, Dad, it's empty. You sure it's empty? Yes, Dad. Okay. So while well, I've been off working this morning, Ron and Bonnie have gotten this far. I'm planting geraniums. They're getting pretty far already. Last time I left off with you guys, I was out spreading clover. 
a lot has happened since then. I unloaded a half a trailer load of seed corn. I unloaded two pallets of dirt. Three pallets. Three pallets of dirt. Sorry. And broke the forklift. Broke the forklift. Apparently, I don't know. Um, and we ate lunch. Yeah, you didn't see that. Um, we're back in the greenhouse. We are going to work on planting spikes. Me and Dad are, so we'll see how much we get done yet today. So this year there's a lot of doubles and triples. Like, see this one? Yeah, that's actually three. I split it apart here. So um, normally you get six flats out of one of these. You get six of these out of one of those. Um, I got 11 on one tray. So it's a good problem to have, a lot of doubles. It means more plants for us to sell, but it means we'll have less room for other stuff. So we just finished off all of the spikes. Now we're gonna move on to this vinca vine. Dad had to go do something, so I have to fill my own pots now. So the way these trays are set up, they're set up just to carry, and they're too spaced out. So when you run them through the dirt machine, all the dirt would fall through. You'd get some in the pots, you'd probably fill your pots, but it would fall through. So you'd waste more time taking your tub out of the bottom and dumping it back in, because you've ran too much dirt out, and your tub got full. So instead of like putting it in here and just doing that, I mean, it works, but we found the best way to fill these is just to scoop it by hand and stick it in. Well, that's about it for us in the greenhouse today. Dad was yelling at me, he said, I'm too old, I can't do all this work like you young guys. I never said that. Oh, that might have been what I said. That's good. So dad has to get hot water to feed the calves down back yet tonight, and I have to feed the outside and towels with grain. I fed all the cows their grain over here and we'll go over and see if dad needs help. Feeding all your cats. Yep. You're supposed to be feeding the cows. I can't tell the difference. We got all the calves fed in here, got everybody grain and water and- Andrew forgot to push the sawdust in. Can't find good help. All right, so I forgot to film closing the store. I know, I know. I'm great at this job. This is where we're going to end the video, everybody. I want to thank everybody for stopping by, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.